Okay, so here we have the father-son team. Can you tell which is which? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we are live officially at the Queeset House, and we're so happy to be here. It is the first time that we're going to be showing this movie off to the cast and crew, the people who created it, as well as some guests that we invited. So we're super excited. We got a little red carpet, and people are going to be eating in a little bit. And then we're going to watch the movie, which is absolutely exciting because... It's been a long time coming, and directing it was one of the coolest things I've done so far, and I'm excited for everything that is to come in the future. So let's have a wonderful night, and hope everyone enjoys the movie. I'm Oh, I'm so excited to see it. I mean, I've spent, like, what, seven, eight months on this? So, uh, yeah, Saturday's, like, 7 p.m.-ish to around 2 or 3 a.m., so it's been a lot of time. We all put in a lot of work, and I think we're all very excited to see this. I'm excited to see it. You must be very proud of your son tonight. Oh, of course, yeah. He's done an unbelievable job putting this together. Yep. With a little help from his dad, right? Well, yeah, a little bit. A um, little. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. We, we collaborated on the story together, yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Beautiful. <laughs> well, um... Thank you all so much for coming tonight. Um, obviously, I'm Joe Taft, and I work at ECAT, and I was the director of this wonderful short film that we are about to watch tonight called The Innkeeper, and a lot of you worked on the film, and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you, as well as those who did not work on the film, because you guys are here tonight, and that is amazing, so thank you all. How about a little round of applause? Good, come on, guys, we made a movie. <laughs> and you're about to see it so um again thank you all so much and um really yeah uh if you got any questions at the end or even i'm just going to open it up to you guys at the end i think you know because a lot of you guys worked on it so it would be a little weird to be like all right so anyone uh, have any questions uh, you know so we'll just look you guys can talk we'll talk about it we'll, we'll see what we think <laughs> uh, he's coming. <laughs> Thank you. We, we need a sense of humor here. All right, guys. So I guess without further ado, we're going to hit the lights and we're going to watch The Innkeeper. it could be at times and thank you thank you yeah. every every moment of that um, seriously like uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for so many reasons like all of you did so much on on set and, and of course and, and all of you being here there weren't yeah yeah like they late nights so late, late nights and, and, and then we you know, wrote the screenplay. that was me I wrote the screenplay there weren't very many words except the F word <laughs> well, um, I think that that screenplay has um more depth to it than people would, <laughs> would expect, <laughs> um, and not as many f bombs. A lot of that was a lot of that was, was our was our actor who we allowed to make the character his own, mm -hmm. and without that, I don't know exactly what the final product would have been. So 
personally, I believe that it was for the better. Um, and honestly, when I wrote that screenplay, I don't know if there's a single app bomb in the screenplay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple, you know? Yeah, seriously. Well, it's really, he does it. Stu in his real life doesn't really swear. No, so he, no, was no, he just really doesn't. He really immersed into this character. He really was. He made, you know, we, there were times when it was like he was down in, in the corner just being himself. Like, we were like, right. we can't be laughing and having fun. He's trying to be... Oh, yeah. like he's, he's trying, trying to channel to it. Grumpy, you know. That's right. Yeah. So it, it was fun. <laughs> it's bizarre. I mean, the task of directing actors was something that I never really have done before. And then so when I wrote that character, it was kind of important that you didn't know everything because <coughs> you wanted to watch him and infer who he was. And remember, we talked for hours about what he did in his, uh, his backstory. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that prequel is going to be like a 10 episode <laughs> mini series, not a mini series, a, yeah. little, a big series. But, um, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Um, I hope you guys all loved it as much as I do. And uh, thank you. Oh, we have a question. Yes, yeah, please. A yes. I'd um, love to hear them. my amazing mother, who I, I, I really didn't know what the owner was gonna bring to the table and how to make that character work, and I decided my mom could not only, I mean, I, know she, I knew she would say yes, which is important, <laughs> but also the fact that uh, my direction to her was actually, play your mom. I said, play a version of your mom, my grandmother, because that is a person that she can strive to be instead of a version of herself. So I thought it could, it would lend to her being a little more, more wise and a little more like of that, you know. So just stuff like that. I learned so much on this, guys, and I, you know, seriously, it wouldn't have been anything without all of you. Seriously. And that includes all those who didn't, who are here to watch. Because what what is a movie without its without its audience? So. Ed. Uh, I thought the location was fantastic too. Wasn't where it? Was, where yeah. was the inn? Oh my gosh! So the inn. Uh, some of us will actually be there tomorrow night for the uh, for the for the for the screening. It is the Sandpaper Factory in Rockland? Down. Um, we live in Rockland, and my dad has a guitar shop in the building. So basically, a collective of artists uh, have their they house their businesses out of the Sandpaper. They all have their own. Yeah, it's a, it's uh, a shop. artist studios, artist lofts. Um, it's also uh, small businesses are also in the uh, the shop scenes that you saw in the movie are actually my guitar shop. Yes. It's a rock and house of pizza. I've never seen it. Uh, it's right on the uh, it's on four way intersection Union and uh, East Water. Actually, right down the street from from the Sandpaper Factory. It's uh, across some what is now the old Dunkin'. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I go by every week. I'm surprised I've never seen it. Yeah. Great, 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 great place. Love that place. Um, and yeah. they and they gave us uh, the the catering was a we could do a documentary on just the catering. <laughs> this movie it was such a such a journey. Like oh my gosh. I mean, down to the last minute. Like what are we gonna give these guys? You know what I mean? Like oh my gosh. It's amazing. Thank you guys. Like seriously, this is amazing. Any other questions? Jack, what's going on, man? Well. A kind of question that's yeah. just scary. I don't know if you want to talk about it because even though Olympus got a, quite a good look at the entity creature, I was chasing him. Do you want to talk about uh, building that costume? Because I know you put a lot of work into that. Yeah, get up, get up here and talk. Let's talk a little bit about the costume. All right. My dad, seriously, his name is in this in the credits more than mine. So <laughs> seriously, <laughs> this man worked his butt off. Well, all right. So, oh look at that. Let's see one of those. <laughs> um, yeah, so the entity's costume was basically uh, something that uh, I guess I got out of my head. Um, Joe's told you all before, like, I'm, I'm a, I don't even know if I call myself a horror movie aficionado. I'm, I'm kind of an obsessed. obsessive fan. Obsessed, yeah. So, um, yeah, the, the entity uh, was something that I had a, a very clear idea on. In fact, I drew it to Joe probably a few months before we even uh, put it together. And we had a stuffed dummy 
most of you guys remember his name is Tony. Tony. <laughs> and um, we dressed him up. We used him as a, as a mannequin, basically, to kind of create the look of the Anthony. And of course, Jack Frog's a lifeline. It's like Noah. Uh, right here. Yeah, yeah really Jack good. Absolutely killed it. Uh, there was a few, there was actually, a, you guys probably remember, there was a few instances that that we were all doing stuff, you know, setting up lighting and getting this ready and getting that ready, and then we would turn around and they'd be jacked in the costumes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it's yeah. just, it's One time I turned and it, and it, it got me. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, who, who's that guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's not what you want to see. Yeah, I was going to do that a few times. While yeah, but yeah. definitely. definitely I love how you'd just be sitting there, it looked like a, like a, like an album cover, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the, like, oh, it was so funny. I love it. I love it. And um, even um, yeah. Wyatt Fane in the back here, yeah. you, Mr. Wyatt, got yeah, to, to well, you got to do a, a multitude of things. Yeah. Um, you got to be our boom operator boom because we needed somebody to hunker down and do the job. It's not a glamorous gig, the boom, you know, standing there. Yeah. Keep standing there. It's tough, dude. So that not only that, but like you, you you grabbed the camera a couple of times when I needed you to. You set up everything that we asked, and not only that, but you got in the costume too. And there were a couple shots in there where it's Wyatt. There's so like I said in the in the credits. There's technically a triple. There's the entity himself. Wyatt was the double, and my dad was the triple. Was that my hand knocking on? Yep. It's it it really funny because it goes from one shot, it, it, it was uh, Jack behind it, and then we cut, no, well, sorry, the shot from behind the door is my dad, but then when we cut outside, it's Jack. Oh. So it's kind of stuff like that, you know, it's like we just, it's the kind of things that only the people who worked on the movie can remember. Like one little shot, you'd be like, wow, we spent so long on that. <laughs>